Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. We've been selling auto parts for over 30 years. Hi everyone, Sue here at 1A Auto, and today we're going to show you how to do an oil change on a 2018 Mazda 3 with a 2.5 liter. You need any parts for your car? Click on the link below and head on over to 1AAuto.com. To start my oil changes, I always like to take the oil cap off and set that aside. And that tells me that there's no oil in the engine and not to start it. And I'll put the dipstick out too, if it stays out. <laughs> that tells me that I've got to check it. Now I'm gonna lift my vehicle with a two post lift. At home you can use a floor jack with jack stands. Now that we're underneath the Mazda to do the oil change, we have so a Phillips screwdriver or an eight millimeter socket. So I'm going to take the oil filter out first. I have an oil filter wrench here. Just loosen it up. I can let that run down for a little bit. Now the oil filter is done pouring quite a bit out so I can take it down the rest of the way safely without getting a mess and making a mess. And I'm going to leave that in my pan, let that drain out. The drain plug is a 17 millimeter. I'm going to use a wrench. When I do oil changes, I like to prime the oil filter. It doesn't matter the, the age of the vehicle, new or old, I always prime the oil filter. This is a small one, but it's, nevertheless, it needs to be primed. Just helps with the wear and tear, and just a well-round good habit. Now I'm just gonna finish topping that off. Let that soak down in. You always wanna lube the new gasket. I like to use new oil. Now you're gonna clean the surface where it mounts on the engine. So now the oil's almost done draining. I'm gonna take a rag and I'm gonna clean the surface for the oil filter. Nice and clean there. I install my oil filter. Now once it bottoms out, like right there, I'm gonna turn this baby almost a full three quarters of a turn. Never use a wrench or a rope strap if you dent or puncture without realizing it. A small leak could occur and you could blow your engine. Now we're gonna look over the drain plug. It's in good shape, there's no burrs. The gasket is perfect. It's not even flattened out. Normally you can always change the gasket if you feel it. Um, I like to just give visuals and go with that route. I'm gonna put the drain plug back in, finger tight, and then I'm gonna to torque it to the manufacturer's specification. 17 millimeter, and the manufacturer's specs for tightening the oil drain plug is 23 to 30 foot-pounds. I set my torque wrench at 28. Always check and clean the area, make sure there's no leaks. And now it's time to reinstall the, the cover. It has a lip on it. Put the lip in towards the front of the front bumper. And then slide it back a little bit. You have two push pins and two wood screws like that there. Well, machine screws. Then the two machine screws.
Now this vehicle, the 2.5, takes four and a half quarts of oil, 020. I'm gonna put the oil cap on, then we're gonna run it, let it run for about a minute or so, shut it down, and let it settle, check your oil level. So now that I've run the engine and I shut it off and let it sit for a minute, I can pull the dipstick and check my oil level. First thing I do is I just clean it up, put it back in and check it all the way down. It hasn't settled yet. I gotta let that settle. It calls for four and a half and I have four and a half right in there right now. So I'm gonna let that settle down and recheck it a couple more minutes. So now I've pulled the dipstick out, and cleaned it. I'm gonna reinstall it right down to the bottom, pull it out, and we can check out oil level. It's perfect. Both sides. Now we're all set. Oil change is complete. Thanks for watching. Visit us at 1AAuto.com for quality auto parts, fast and free shipping, and the best customer service in the industry.